Hey everybody, it's Tasha and Snow, and welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. And in the last episode, we we finally got through some of the Gate Village, and then we, we got through some of the Gate Village, and I was showing you guys the purification process with a few of my other Pokemon. Off screen, I purified a few more of my Pokemon. I purified the last four Pokemon I have left in my party, and today I want to show you guys this really awesome thing that I read about in my in my guide about what happens with the time float if you use it on the in this in this place. Now we'll let's try and see what it does. Let's see, which one do we want to use it on? We want to use it on Entei. Entei is one of the... And take a good close look at this. Yeah, this is the only time you'll ever get to see Celery for this. This is really awesome. Yeah, so I really wanted to do Entei because Entei is wickedly strong. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't get anything, but I don't care because it looks awesome. And since it's non-male or female, I just don't know what to... I think I'll give it a name, Volcano. Yeah, Volcano. Because it is the Volcano Pokemon. So, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, Volcano sounds like a good name for it. Well, see, that's the only time you get to use it. You can only use it once. But since it's it told me in the game guide to use it now, that way we could, that way I could show you guys what I've been waiting on to do. Especially since I really needed Entei for this. So let's see. I know Sunny Day, Leer, Bite, and Fire Blast. Sunny Day is the one that he had hidden. See, I only got a few of these guys left. I'll show you. I want to show you guys what the other ones were. And. Ugh, I was scaring my controller was having a little malfunction. So I had to do it. See, look at this uh, guy. This one moved up to level 22, so I took it out of the daycare. Here's Fluff Ball, if you remember. This is Ampy, Petal Shine, Sumo, and these are the guy. These are the ones that I purified off screen. Magma, Quagga, Mystery, and Night Watch. Yeah, I. I did those guys off screen the other day. Maze with me that it hasn't evolved yet. Oh, and these I I did off screen also. Medi, Medi, and Marine. Yeah, so now I only have two Shadow Pokemon at the moment. Because if you guys remember, my failed attempt with Ma, Ma, hit Ma. Hit on top was terrible, so I couldn't really get it at all. So it was like so annoying. I actually got pretty pissed off. Oh, and look, this this place actually appears, Mystery Lab. But here, this is where we need to go, Pirate Town, because off screen I also did a little something too as well let me show you I got this off screen from a person from if you guys also remember those two those two girls who were in this this hideout over here if you guys remember those two girls who are on the final floor, 
of it. Well, if you also remember, there was an elevator on the first floor, and this chaser, Kai, was blocking the way. She will keep battling you no matter how many times you've already defeated her. And this would be the, the uh, third time I'm battling her because last time I battled her and I left because I wanted to show this on camera for you guys. These guys are a little tough though because they're both grounds. Well, all of her Pokemon are ground types. She has, uh, she also has a, I think, no, yeah, I think these are only two. Yeah, these are her only two Pokemon that she has. They're pretty easy. Of course, since my Quillfish keeps getting so pissed off, it was like so irritable when I was trying to battle it with it once. It wouldn't stop getting into hyper mode. I was like getting so mad because it wouldn't stop. All I wanted to do was try and get it out of hyper mode but still wouldn't stop. And just like right now, they're both in hyper mode. Well, in the, in the other game, the Gale of Darkness, they actually call their hyper mode the reverse, their reverse mode. And, and it's also, you can also cancel out the ability by calling their name just like, just like you do in this game as well. It's similar features, it's just different Pokemon you have to snag. Like, I think one of the Pokemon that we have to snag in the under, which is where we're headed, and I think the Pokemon we have to snag over there is Lydian. In the other game, we had to snag Lydia, which which was a, wasn't as hard really, especially since it was like super weak. But that was like in the beginning, very beginning of the, of the game. So it really wasn't that bad. Oh, and just like in this game, we had to snag a, we had to snag um, the evolved form of, of Swablu, Altaria. We had to snag Altaria. And a few other Pokemon that, uh, that we actually got to snag. We never got to snag Noctowl. We actually snagged, we had, we actually had to snag Nicardo, which is the evolved form of Slugna. We also had to snag a few others, I remember. I, I snagged so many that I can't remember most of them. I remember snagging, um, Growlithe, Vulpix, um, oh yeah, we also had to snag a Marie in the other game. But in this game, we had to snag a Flaffy. So it was pretty awesome because, because my, my Marie evolved fast after just raising it up. Just by raising it up out of that level, it, it grew very strong, very quick. And in the other game, we had to snag a Spiel and a couple others, I remember. I just can't remember which similar ones that we had to snag in the other game that were as similar as this one. I can't remember it that well because because my brain is being a little foggy right now and it's being such a bitch at it. I can't even remember what happened. But I think I will remember in due time and I'll tell you guys all of them. Or maybe in a small cutout video I'll show you guys all the snack Pokemon I got. And the list of the snack Pokemon that we had to do, because we actually had a list of Pokemon we had to snag, and we were actually able to snag all the lost Pokemon that we we couldn't gain. See, this is the elevator. We get to use it. Oh, and off screen, I also found the Cologne case, which is if you talk to this cool trainer, she will give it to you. If you say no to her about knowing about knowing about the cologne thing, about Pokemon's massage, she will give it to you for free. It's really awesome. Welcome to the Ender. Oh wait a second, as 
Yeah, it's been a long time since anyone has come down here. Wow, it's like, she's not afraid of us. I've never actually seen this place before. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the under time again today. Without further ado, let's bring out what that special someone we've all been waiting for. Lady Venus, please. Yes, I also heard about Venus. I read, I read in this thing, you have to battle her and get a special Pokemon. I think if you battle her, she will have Suicune, which is another one of the three legendary Pokemon for the Johto region. Which is the North Wind Pokemon. And that one's very awesome. You have to... If I were you, I'd be careful battling it and use, like... No way they know that we came here already. So, we're going to have to be cautious. The spies that snuck into the ender, it's gotta be you, am I right or am I right? Hmm, you're right, you don't look like spies to me. <laughs> ah, we're not spies. We just got here. Epic, right? Lady Venus is cautious. Except for her TV appearance, she appearances she is rarely seen. I don't know exactly what the ender is here anyway. And I swear. You are a trainer, aren't you? Did you come to enter a Colosseum challenge? Maybe. Hmm, I don't mean to advance, but you don't look, look exactly tough. I'll test you to see how well you can battle. Wow, how nice. Zeta, wow. That's a nice name, actually. I like that kind of name. Skitty and Oddish. I can't remember what other Pokemon we were supposed to snag here. I think there was Sneasel, Lady Ant, Lady Ann, Suicune, and, and a few others I can't remember. Oh wow, she has a lot. I know that was a stupid move to, to have it attack Oddish, but I didn't care right now because I'd rather bring out one of, I'd rather see what, what Volcano can do, or Entei can do. You guys can call it Entei, I'll call it Volcano. I like that name, Volcano. <laughs> I actually looked up Entei's name in my, in my Pokédex, and it, uh, and it is actually, it is actually the Volcano Pokémon. Which is amazing. Because Entei is like super strong, man. Especially with its fire blast attack that it has right now. That's awesome. Ooh, look at how, look how bad that was. Wow. That was a good hit. I didn't even notice the level difference. That's so low, man. Damn, I think Metatech could join in on the battles here. Whoa. Why am I going whoa for it? It's not that bad, man. And why do I keep saying man for it? Jeez. God. Sometimes I say the strangest things for no apparent reason. And I don't know why. Shep it. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was going to be Shep it that we had to snag. I can't even remember. Because apparently my memory is blocked, and I can't seem to remember what Pokemon was supposed to snag. I don't even know if she's the right trainer that we have to snag the Pokemon from. Because she doesn't seem like it. Oh, of course he uses defense. Uh, 
I tried my best to get some of these guys going at least. But I'd really, really try and work on the other guys. Because I know I have to work on Puffball. Fluffball. Oh, I know it's a bad name for a male jump club. I know, I know. That's a bad name for a male one. But I had to do it. I just had to because I couldn't think of anything else. Because I won't do human names. I Trust me, I actually did that once with my, with my Marie when I first got it. I named it Macy. And trust me, it's still bad. I hated it. Let's see if we can try and find a Pokemon somewhere in here. I would thank the Lord if if there actually was. There's a shop. Oh, I think that's it. But ah, oh, crap! How do you get out there? Wait, is this it? Wait, what's that? Oh, never mind. Sorry about that. Damn! All those birds are flying everywhere. This has to be it. Wait a second, what is this? Underground hotel? Not for a thousand! No! No freaking way! What's this? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, are they looking for the spies? I don't know who they're talking about. Uh. Wow. Where is the Pokemon Center when you need it? Wow. Are you telling me that I have to pay $1,000 just for one night in this freaking ratty hotel? Are you kidding me? I don't even think I have that much. Let me see. That, that's it. UDA. Oh, I only have that much. Damn it. I was hoping I had less because because I don't have that much left and I can't get I can't keep getting hit every stinking time. It's just like get the pirate. It's not like, it's just like at the Pirate Grand Hotel. What is wrong with these people? They cheat, so cheap that they have to have you pay a thousand dollars just for one stinking night? Jeez, people. That's so stupid. Yeah, as you can see, I have Meditite holding that because I need it. Let me see. You're almost there, you're not. You're close. I, I need to give you something. Your item thing is totally bogus. See, plus ball. I named it plus ball, and it's a boy. God, I am so stupid. Especially this name, Amphi. Of course, I didn't have much to deal with here, people. I Especially since I haven't named these two yet. I have a name for him, but I don't have a name for that one. Fura, Quagga, and Yu Yu. <laughs> Yu Yu. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> I don't know why I named it that. I just named it that on purpose because I was totally focused and I didn't really want to know what to name it. But let's find out what that kid up there was. Who are these kids? Oh, okay, so here's the plan. If I Spot a five. What I'll do is clear the area, then shout really loud to startle the spy. While the spy is startled, you jump him and su subdue him. Oh, that sounds so wrong! <laughs> you think about it in a way, it sounds really wrong. And I hate thinking about it like that. It sounds stupid. How's that for a plan? Huh? What do you two want? Where have. 
We're having an important chat here. Leave us alone here. Ugh. I think that guy has one too many marijuanas. <laughs> My partner's the brains of us too. His plans always work. But you know I always seem to be the one getting hurt all the time. Uh, he didn't even look at us when he said that. Wonder what this kid has to say. Hey, spies! I see, I see spies, spies. Oh wait, that can't be right. Real spies would look, look much stronger. Sorry, my mistake. Who doesn't think we could be spies? Oh my god, this place is like. See, look at it. It's like we're all bright for a second. See, look, it went all bright. The winner of a costume challenge gets to meet Lady Venus in person and receive a shadow Pokemon. One day I'm going to enter and get me a shadow Pokemon. Before that, I'll test the uh, position starting with you. Here goes. I don't know who this person is at all. Oh, Gert. <laughs> what a stupid name. Magic Carp and Feebass. Ah, <laughs> Magic Carp. <laughs> Magic Carp is flailing around. I didn't expect it to be flailing around like that. Magic Carp looks so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to laugh at that. That is just like really hilarious. I never actually saw Magic Carp in the other game, so don't. So please don't judge me because I never saw one in the other game. In fact, I never even seen a rat tata in that other game either. Most of the, most of the first-rate Pokemon I've never even seen. In fact, I've never even seen a. Um, let me think of it. I never saw a Nidoran, Nidorino, or a Nido Queen. Nido, Nidoran, the other gender, Nidor. Ugh, Nidorina and. Ugh, I keep getting them mixed up. Both. Both female and ma male Nidorans, Nidorina, Nido Nidorino, Nido King, and Nido Queen. I've never seen any of those in the other game. In fact, but when I mention that, I've never even seen a any of the starter Pokemon in that game either. I think only once I saw. I think only once I actually saw a Chikorita and or a Totodile and a Cyndaquil. But that was only in the Mount Battle game battles. Ugh. He's saying it wrong. In fact, I never even saw a ponytail on that one either. But it seems like I saw a bunch of the other ones instead. Which wasn't really fair. Because I really like those other ones. Because those Pokemon are actually pretty good and useful. Finally, they're not, they're not all like, shat, like all on hyper mode. Whoa, that was a one hit wonder. <laughs> oh, I still can't stop laughing about that fact that the thing was like all like, oh my god. Ew, Waylord is just as big as it was in the other one. Waylord scares me because it's freaking big. Look at look how humongous that thing is. It's bigger than your average person. And your person was very short. Your your character is like a really young kid. And and in this one, you're like a you're like a grown-up part, like mostly a teenager. But the other kid was like about ten years old at least, I think. I can't tell. Whoa! That thing could just shake the foundation of the place. It could actually shake the foundation. Better yet, make an earthquake while it's at it. And stupid... 
stupid swallow. There. At least they're both almost done. So it's annoying having quillfish because quillfish is pretty damn annoying for not being a really great Pokemon. Because it being both a, a poison and a water type, it's most highly weak against psychic type moves and grass. Not really grass types really, but it's mostly purely weak against psychic, which is very bad. And most of the Pokemon in this game are part psychic or no a psychic type move. Which is also really annoying. Oh my god, really? That thing can't even move that fast! Damn! Come on already, why don't you die already? Jeez. This is what I hate. Well, Lord, well, Lord is so stupid. God. Oh my God! Really, really. It is so stupid. I hate that Pokemon so much. Oh my God. Thank God already, jeez. It's like super annoying, man. Uh-oh, I better end this pretty soon. I'm already reaching 27. But once I get the stupid battle over with, I'll sign off, okay guys? God, if you would just go down already. Jeez, Oh man. Ah, oh, dumb quillfish. Cool Man, I better win this freaking battle because I freaking need the money in order to heal up again. I'm not going back up to the surface. Because I don't want my butt beaten. I really don't want to have to go all the way back. Okay, meditate. Eh. Control stick malfunction. You decided to use Surf now again, huh? Really? Wow. You are a jerk face and so is everyone else. You are such a jerk. God. I hate Whale Lords. Whale Lords have like a ton of defense. Being, being for, because they're humongous size, they have a ton of defense. Which it being annoying, God. Okay, guys, I better sign off now. I'll see you guys next time, where we continue the rest of the Ender. I may have to split it into at least four videos, being of how long it is. So I'll see you guys next time.